when you're first starting out with portraiture, one of the key things to your success will be choosing a good reference image. A good reference image has strong contrast, obvious light and dark values, and an easy to follow form. I find the key thing I look for is a strong directional lighting, ideally from the side, that really gives a good contrast from one side of the face to the other. This allows you to observe the darks and the lights very clearly and is easy to form a structure of the face. Once you've got your image, you can make it even easier by taking the saturation out of the face, dropping the image down to no colour. This helps you appreciate the values rather than looking at the colours. The next thing you can do to accentuate it even more is increase the contrast. Increasing the contrast and increasing the shadows and the highlights is one way to make it very obvious what parts of the face are in the brightest light and what parts of the face are in the darkest shadow. When you come to the end of your painting, you can revert these changes to indicate the mid-tones and you can start getting in the final bits of your painting. What you then need to do is get this accurately onto paper. I use a program called Copy It. I haven't used it in this painting, but if I was to ever grid anything up, I use this program. What I do is import the image, use the grid, which you can change the colour of depending on the colour of the image, and then I'll then grid my paper up the same as this, and it helps make sure I get my proportions correct. Once you have got more familiar with portraiture, you don't have to use such stark contrasting images. You can start to become more familiar with the anatomy and you can accentuate shadows and highlights that might not be as clear in the image, but you know are there because of your knowledge of anatomy. I hope that helps give you an idea of how to find your first reference image. If you want to see me paint this image in full, I have a video on how to paint a portrait in watercolour. Hopefully I'll see you there.